Today we do not have a drush, a community drush like we normally do, so if you would like to get involved, uh, that's a five to seven minute uh, discussion or lesson that you've, you, you've looked at the Torah portion that week and you share insights. And if that connects you throughout all of Scripture, that's also a good thing. So I encourage you to get with Lisa if you'd like to get scheduled so you can be a part of that. So I, that's something that we really enjoy at, the, at this congregation to have the community have a time to share. With that, yes. Yes. What's that? Yes, by all means. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. There's so many of you. <laughs> so, oftentimes at camp where I was out for basically the past six weeks, I would be speaking to about six to 10 small children. Now I got 40 adults. <laughs> so I'm, I just wanna share a little bit about my time at camp. It is an amazing experience for all of us. I, I know I'm not at the same camp that Judah and Shiloh are at and Asher and all them are at, but it's an amazing time to be with other people that just want to know more about God. And it's something that we don't usually get in our day-to-day -day lives. Um, Badni Bar, not, yes, Badni Bar, the entire book, the book that we just finished this week, it is constantly telling us about how we should speak. The most common phrase throughout that entire book is, Vadibar Adonai El Moshe Lemor. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, and it would continue on to say something more. Constantly, Adonai is reminding us about how we should speak. And it's reminding us that we have to be mindful of it. Um, Kora. I always somehow managed to listen to Kora during camp. Don't know what happens. Even like year, years that I wasn't even as a senior counselor where I had less free time. I could always listen into Kora and I could hear how he had spoke against Moses. He brought an uprising against Moses and wanted to be like Moses, better than Moses. And God said, this is my chosen one. Moses is my chosen person. You are not. And his entire camp was destroyed. And the surrounding camps as well. Mary, Miriam. She went before Moses and Aharon, no, just Moses, with Aharon, that's what it was. She also was in a similar state. She knew that God had chosen Moses, but she also has seen God worked in her life as well. And she just she also spoke out against Moses. And again, God affected her with leprosy. It's one thing that we, Badmi Bar is just constantly reminding us about. Barak and Balaam. A curse became a blessing and that became um, the Ma'atovu. We sing it every single week we come here. How lovely are your tents? It was supposed to be a curse, but it never came out to be a curse. I actually started looking at Balaam and Balak during Teen Week, which was two weeks before the Parsha of Balaam, right? It's Parsha Balaam? Yes, Balak, my bad. Two weeks before Parsha Balak, I was looking at Parsha Balaam, uh, Balak, and I was with teenagers, ages 13 to 14-ish, and I was going to go into how, like, sort of what I'm doing now, how we got to be mindful about our words, 
However, I just got hung up on the talking donkey. <laughs> Balaam's donkey saw the angel of Adonai before her and not wanting to have her master killed, went to the side of the road or accidentally hurt, hurt him a few times. And that just happens. But Balak, no, Balaam, yes, Balaam was the prophet. Yes. Balaam didn't see the angel of Adonai. And he hit her, his donkey three times. The third time, the angel opened up the donkey's mouth. As I wanted to continue further that night, but I was just so caught up. I'm like, we get so tunnel visioned. We get so tunnel visioned about what we want to do. We get tunnel visioned that this is what we need to do. This is what I'm supposed to be doing, not really, but this is what I'm supposed to be doing. And then Adonai throws in the angel before him that has his uh, sword drawn, ready to strike down anyone who crosses his path. Blom is so tunnel visioned that he doesn't, he just, blames it on the donkey. He doesn't see the angel. It's, we get tunnel visioned. I, it's one of the things to be mindful of. Taking things to the Lord in prayer. Each week I tried, no, each week I did refer back to Joshua 1, 1, 6 through 9. He's telling Joshua that we are supposed to be in Torah, we are supposed to be reading his word day and night, meditating on it, even when we don't have the physical copy right here in front of us. We are meditating on it so that way we will become prosperous. We will know what he wants us to do, and we won't be that tunnel visioned. We will be mindful of what we are saying. Something I tried to tell each, uh, all the kids that I came across was that we need to be in his word so that way we know what he wants us to do. Amen. Anyway, thank you.